Hey guys, Six Year here. I know I've been gone a few months, but today we're going to do a buckle. It's only going to be the recent stuff I've got in the posters. Honestly, too much since I last posted that I could show you in one video, as well as I can't remember everything I bought since that last video. But what I've got in the post is still quite a lot that I bought recently. So it might make two, maybe three videos. I've still got more stuff coming through the post soon. So yeah, expect expect if I actually get kick my ass and get it done, uh, a couple of buckle videos. I would like to talk about the two books I've read recently, the two westerns I've read recently. I haven't been reading much still. I'm a bit still in that bit of a slump for some reason that I just don't have the not in the mood to read unfortunately, but. Hopefully I get in swing things eventually. Before we get on to the books that I'm going to show you today, I just want to mention Arizona Ghost Riders, which is a channel about Western history and uh, their film set. They do like, they shoot films on their little old West town in Arizona. Uh, go subscribe to them. They've done a video about Western fiction also, which is fantastic because that's going to bring a lot more attention onto the genre for people that are in sort of interested in western films or history they might start picking up books if they already don't read them and reading westerns as well which is a great thing uh, I love watching Arizona Ghost Riders they're a great channel so go look for that video and go watch it and go subscribe to them they're fantastic so <coughs> out this book all uh, there's few author names in this lot of 13 I've got to show you. But just realise that most of them are pseudonyms for one of two authors. It'll be either a Lauren Payne pseudonym or a Donald S. Rowland pseudonym. I won't point out who's who because there's only one off the top of my head that I could tell you guaranteed is Lauren Payne. And that'll be the Frank Bosworths. So rest of them I won't go say who's who because I can't. Off the top of my head, I won't remember, so go through those now. First, we got The Last Ride by Will Benton. I will do what I normally do and show you the synopsis, the blurb. Just in, hopefully, it picks up. It does seem a bit blurry. If it comes to the end of this video and they're all blurry and unreadable, I will apologize now, but hopefully, you can read that. So as I say, Frank Bosworth is definitely a Lauren Payne sued them. And this is Bear Claw Range. I've read a few of Lauren Payne's, but I don't think I've read any under his name, Frank Bosworth. It's Riders in the Dusk. Not that it matters, I mean sued them's just a sued them, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes authors write in a different style when they write under a pseudonym. Like uh, Will Henry is more historic when he's writing under Will Henry. But under Clay Fisher, he was more right action adventure westerns. Well, that's what I, at least I've been told. I mean, I've only read a couple, so can't can't fully say off what I've read. This is South Slope by Frank Bosworth. Uh, I was commented on Hyde and Reed's video recently uh, about reading the Sackett series and he's saying, I'm guessing he's seen some of my videos, he's saying that he hasn't seen some of these authors across in the US, this Land of Low Hills by Will Bradford. <clears throat> uh, I think that's more of a case of just uh, a hard thing to find really and like a, a just try and get into the genre, you know, got to look, know, you got to know what you're looking for really. Don't f I think you, if you did look for them in the US, because I'm in the UK, you look for them in the US, you could probably find the books in reprints, library reprints, under Lauren Payne's name. I'm not sure about reprints of Donald Des Rowland's books, but I know Lauren Payne has a lot of his reprinted. But like they did with Max Brand's books under pseudonyms, they just put the, his most popular, well-known name 
on the on the cover. So you are looking for some some of these and the uh, Lauren Payne ones. They're probably even listed under Lauren Payne now. This is Lewis Brandt, Blood in the Blood in the Dust. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Hard and Read uh, recently. He's another channel that's been reading and collecting westerns this year. Uh, I think he's mostly been reading Lamore, but he's really getting into the genre and looking for the looking around collecting bits. So go check him out. Also, I will say. Uh, as well as, I, I can't remember everyone that I've seen, but I have noticed from watching Hyde and Reed's channel, there is quite a few new channels reading westerns, which is fantastic. I love to see that. I mean, I want more people to talk about western fiction on BookTube. You might find, obviously, some western authors on BookTube, like Thomas McNaughty of McNaughty's Book Corral, and a few of Black Horse western authors I've seen I've spotted on YouTube, I can't remember quite who, but anyway, it's nice to see more people picking up westerns and talking about westerns on booktube, so if you find those channels, subscribe to them, hopefully you get talking about them and get more attention on the genre. Anyway, enough of that ramble. This is Thomas Munro Helm, Desert Ghost. This... Author, I believe, is an actual author. I've, I've not known this to be a pseudonym of either Donald S. Rowland or Lauren Payne. So, got Return of the Fast Gun by John Kilgore. Again, I apologise if none of these uh, blurbs or synopses are coming out clear. Um, it might be my camera on the phone. I've got a cheap phone. I don't spend a lot of money on my phone, so it probably is due to the camera or just me not knowing how to work it. But either way, it's Hungry Guns by Bert Kroll. Land of Long Shadows by Tom Martin. Uh, speaking of Thomas, Thomas McNaughty, he's also done a video recently about uh, contemporary authors in the genre. Uh, unfortunately, with collecting, you tend to collect what uh, you see, but you normally tend to go for what you think you might never you might not see again or see along for a long time so that tends to be the, all the vintage stuff all the old stuff so I, I haven't really got a big collection of contemporary authors unless they're on ebook to show you but i will mention if you do are looking for contemporary authors in the western genre there's three good publishers to check out there's wolfpack publishing dusty saddle publishing and two gun publishing they are probably the best publishers to look for. Well, they are the best publishers to look at for new westerns and contemporary western authors. If you're in the UK or even if in the US, because Thomas uh, uh, Thomas McNaughty's told me they do have Linford Western Library over there. There's plenty of contemporary authors that, unfortunately, I don't think all of them are still right now. But if you find authors in those that library series they're also fantastic to read so if you find some of those pick those up read them they're fantastic as well uh, just collect really that the best idea if you want to get into genre is collect or at least try to catalog stuff if you can't afford it all it does get expensive collecting and stuff so what i do is i collect stuff on um i see stuff if i can't afford to buy stuff or i've already bought a bunch of stuff or it's just too much postage. I will screenshot it or I'll get the author's name and the book title and put it on my Goodreads to remember it. That's a good way. Uh, speaking of finding contemporary authors also, your best bet would be to look at, look at Amazon's Amazon Kindle's top 100 for the Western genre. You'll find authors like Ethan Westfield, Austin Grayson, Johnny Burns, um, 
I fling them. Just a bunch on there. Uh, Char Charles Ray, I think it is. And stuff like that. A lot of Dusty Saddle authors, a lot of uh, six, um, Wolfpack Publishers, um, Wolfpack, Wolfpack Publishing authors, as well as a lot of independents on there, like Frank Wheeler. I think Frank Wheeler's independent. And stuff like that. So, yeah, go. Uh, that's another good place to go check uh, for contemporary authors. Quickly now, we'll just go through the last two. This is The Guns of High Meadow by Buck Standish. Uh, I think my dog's crying to come inside. Obviously too cold. Just quickly show you the last one and we'll, I'll let you go. This is The Night Riders by Russ Thompson. And there we go. I don't think that's clear, but that's all I've got time for right now. Hopefully you enjoyed the book haul. Hopefully you could go find these books if you want to. If they take your interest and you want to go read them and collect them. And yeah, go look for the stuff. So happy reading and I'll see you down on the trail.